Watermelons are incredibly sweet, so why have you never seen sugar made from them? The simple answer is that for a watermelon, tasting sweet and having a high sugar content are two completely different things. This sounds crazy, but it's true. A watermelon tastes intensely sweet, but its sugar content is only about 6%. Meanwhile, a fruit like a hawthorn berry, which is so sour it'll make your face implode, has a whopping 22% sugar content. The math just doesn't work out. The main sources for table sugar, sugar cane and sugar beets, have sugar contents of 18 to 20%. 10 pounds of sugar cane gets you almost two pounds of sugar. 10 pounds of watermelon, you'd get maybe half a pound. You would lose a fortune on every batch before even factoring in labor and equipment costs. It's a total sucker's move. Besides, watermelon was never meant to be a sugar source. Ancient descriptions of watermelon called it bland and watery, and its name, watermelon, tells you its real purpose. It's 92% water, and its ancestor, a wild gourd, was used by ancient Egyptians as a kind of natural canteen on long desert treks. That original melon was actually bitter. The first hint of sweetness came from a lucky genetic mutation, where the plant accidentally stored sugar meant for its leaves in its fruit instead. It's only in the last few hundred years of selective breeding that we've gotten the super sweet melons we have today. The real reason watermelon tricks your brain is the type of sugar it has. It's packed with fructose, which is almost twice as sweet as the sucrose in table sugar. Fructose also has a cool feature. It gets sweeter the colder it gets, which is why an ice-cold watermelon on a hot day tastes like pure bliss. Another reason it seems so sweet is that it has very few other acids to interfere with the taste. It's a pure, clean sweetness that isn't muddied by sour notes. But this also makes it a logistical nightmare for sugar production. Compared to sugarcane, which you can just press, skin and all, or corn, which is easily converted into corn syrup, watermelons are a hassle. You have to transport them without crushing them, then peel them and get rid of the seeds. So, while it's a perfect summer treat, its low sugar content makes it a completely worthless candidate for making sugar.